uh, in, in this video, we'll be looking at number base. Number base is a very interesting topic in mathematics. It is very interesting. Uh, we are from base 2 to base 10. So, in base 2, the numbers that are permitted are 0 and 1. Base 2, we have, we have base 2, we have base 3, we have base 4, and so on. In base 2, we have 0 and 1. In base 3, we have 0, 1, and 2. In base 4, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. In base 5, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two. In base, so that's how it is to base 10. So in base 10, we now have 0 to 9. So what does that imply? It, it means that we are looking at a given base. The numbers that are allowed must be below that base. Or like, like base 2, now we are having 0 and 1. So 2 must not be there. In base 3, the last number is 2. 3 will not be there. In base 4, the last number is 3. 4 will not be there. So in base 10, the last number is 9. 10 will not be there. So in our normal mathematics, uh, we work with the base 10. So normal base is very interesting, like I said before. So in, in this video, we'll look at how we convert from one base to another. Alright. So let's take for instance. Let's say we are having a uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2 to base 10. To base 10. How do you convert this to base 2? For the beginner aspect, it is expedient to know that since these are four numbers, you put your power. You start from here, starting from 0. So you add 0. After 0, we have you 1, 2, and 3. You put your power above it, starting from what? 0. So how do, what do you do? You use this whole number to multiply the base, then you raise it up to the power, and just like that. So this is the whole number here, 1 times 2, which is the base, to the power of what? 3. Then you now plus it, the next whole number is 1 times 2, which is the base, to the power of what? 2. The next whole number is what? 0 times 2, which is the base, to the power of what? 1. The next whole number is 1 times 2, which is the base to the power of what? 0. So this one will now give us 1 times 2 to the power of 3 is 8. It is not 2 times 3, no. It is 2 into 3 places. That is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is what? 8. It is not 2 times 3. 6, no. It is 2 times 2 times 2 which is what? 8. That's the meaning of 2 to the power of what? 3. So this one will give us what? 8. 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 2. That's 2 squared is 4. That is 2 times 2. Plus uh, 0 times 2 to the power of 1 is what? 2. Plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0 is what? 1. Anything raised to the power of 0 will give you 1. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 7 to the power of 0 is 1. 1,800 to the power of 0 is what? 1. 1 million to the power of 0 is what? Is 1. Anything raised to the power of 0 will give you what? 1. So let's continue. Uh, 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 times 4 is 4 plus 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. So everything will give us what? 13 base what? 10. So we've been able to convert this now to what? To base 10. You can also convert from base 10 to other bases. So this is the way you convert from one base to an, uh, from any base to base 10. So if we are having another example, say we are now having, let's say we are having a 2, 2, 2, base 4. Base 4 to base 10. To base 10. So what do you do? We will not have to write this one here again. So this one will be 0, 1, and 2. So what do you do? The whole number 2 times 4. What's the power here? 2. Plus the whole number here? 2. Times the base 4. What's the power here? 1. Plus the whole number here? 2. Times 4. What's the power here? 0. So this one will now give us 2 times 4 squared is 16. Plus 2 times what? 4. Plus 2 times what? 1. So this one will give us 32. Plus 8 plus what? 2. Right? So, this one now give us what 32 plus 8 is 40, that's 42. 42 base what 10. So, what we are having now is 42 base 10. So, we've been able to convert, you know, 
from base 4 to base 10. Now, what we just did is the conversion to base 10. This answers you have now, this number is in base 10. You can also convert it to other bases. So let's convert this 32 to base 2 and we'll get this our question back. Let's convert this 42 to base 4 and we'll get this our question back. How do you do that? It is very simple. Just follow me closely. Remember that the, this, the, the question, the answer we had here, the question we had was, uh, let me write them out again. The first one we had, the question was 1, 1, 0, 1, right, base 2, and we had 13, base 10. The other one we had was 2, 2, 2, base 4, and we had, and we had what again? We had, uh, four, uh, four, uh, we had 42, base 10. Think so we had 42 base 10. So we will convert this 13 base 10 to base 2 and we'll get this back. How do you do that? Look up. If you are converting 13 base 10 to base 2, if you are converting 13 base 10 to base 2, how do you do that? You rule a line. Your 13 will be on the right. Then the base you are converting, converting, converting it will be on the left. Easy. 2 into 13. Normal arithmetic, 2 into, 2 into 13, 2 will go into 36 times, it will be remaining 1. This arrow stands for remaining. 2 into 6 is 3 remaining nothing, that's 0. 2 into 3 is 1 remaining what 1. Then 2 into 1 cannot, so you put 0 remaining what 1. Let me do it again. 2 into 13 is 6 times, but it will be remaining 1, so you put remaining 1. Anything, anything that is remaining, you write it here. If nothing is remaining, you put 0. So since 2 into 13 is 6, you will put the 6 there, remaining what 1. Then 2 again into 6 is 3, remaining nothing, so you put 0. 2 into 3 is 1, remaining what 1, you put it there. 2 into 1, it cannot go, so you put 0, remaining this 1, put it there. So that's where it ends. How do you know it has come to the end? This last value must be 0. So you now take it from the bottom to the top. We are having 1, 1, 0, 1, base what? 2. That was the question we had before, see it here. So let's now convert this 42 base 10 to base 4. Alright. Uh, 42 base 10 to base 4. Alright, so this one will give us this. 42 on the right, 4 on the right, left. Alright, now, 4 into 42, 4 into 4 is 1, 4 into uh, 2 is 0, remaining what 2, that's 3, remaining 2, right? 4 into 10 is how many? Is 2, remaining what 2, then 4 into 2 cannot, is 0, remaining what 2, take it up, put on top, so we are having 2, 2, 2 base what 4, so if you are, in the nutshell, if you are converting from uh, if you are converting to base 10, you use the first method that I showed you. If you, are, if you are not converting from base 10, you use this method. Very easy. Very easy. So take note of this. Take note of this. I have that we can convert from one base to another. We can convert from base 5 to base 9. From base 9 to base 10. From base 3 to base 4. Just like that. So how do you do that? It is very easy. Let's say we are having another example. We are having uh, another example such as we are having a let's say we are having one two three zero base four to base let's say seven let's say we are having one two three zero base four to let's say base seven how do you do that very easy you convert this base four to base ten first a low listing. You convert this base 4 to base 10 first. Then the answer you got as base 10, you will now convert it to base 7. So it's just that we are, it's just like we are combining the two methods that we've done here in this class. You convert it to base 10 using the first method I showed you. Then you now convert your answer to base 7 using the second method I showed you. How do you convert this to base 10? So let's go. So this is 1 times 4 to the power of what? What will be here now? 3. You should know that by now that 
this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. We add it in the first question because it's the beginner aspect. So as you saw, you don't need, you need to add it again in theory. Plus 2 times 4 to the power of what? 2. Plus 3 times 4 to the power of what? 1. Plus 0 times 4 to the power of what? 0. So it is the whole number times the base to the power. So let me just put it here. 3, 2, 1, 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. So look at it. It is 1 times 4 to the power of 3. Plus the whole number 2 times 4 to the power of what? 2. Right? Plus 3 times 4. Look at it here. To the power of what? 1. That's the power. Plus 0 times 4 to the power of what? 0. Alright. So, uh, 1 times 4 to the power of 3. 4 cubed is 64. That's 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 64 times 4 is 64. Plus 2 times 4 squared is 16. Plus 3 times 4 plus 0 times what? 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, right? Alright. So, uh, 1 times 64 gives us what? 64. So, we're having 64 here. Plus 2 times 16 is 32. Plus uh, 12 plus 0. So let's add it up. This is 2, 2, 2, 4, this is 8. Then this is 1, 4, 10. 1, 0, 8, this is what? 10. This is our answer. 1, 0, 8, this 10. Now the final answer. Now this, now you converted it to this 10, right? You now convert this this 10 to this 7. How do you do that? We've done it just now. So 1, 0, 8, on the right. This 7 that you are converting it to on the left. 7 into 1 cannot 7 it into 10 is 1 remaining what 3 add it here 38 7 it into 38 is 5 remaining what 3 now 7 7 into 15 is 2 2 remaining what 1 7 into 2 cannot write so is 0 remaining what the 2 here 2 but on top so I told you that when we get to 0 it means that it has come to the end so this one will now give us 2, 1, 3, 2, base what 7. So therefore, in theory, therefore, 1, 2, 3, 0, base 4, right, is equal to 2, 1, 3, base what 7. As simple as this. It's not difficult at all. So we've been able to convert from to base 10 and from base 10. I will be able to convert from one base to what other base. You can ask your question. You feel free to ask the question. Drop your question on the comment box below. So let's continue. Let's now look at how we can add and subtract number base. Addition and subtraction of number base is quite different. It's very different from the normal uh, addition and subtraction. Because the normal addition and subtraction we have is in this ten that we normally do in mathematics so it is very different from that of number base so let's see let's see you are having number one 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 zero one plus one 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 zero one plus what one 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 add the plus here you cannot see this one plus one two this one this two and this one this rubbish is wrong because these are in base two first of all and what you should be having here should be zero and one number that are less than two so this is wrong so what do you do it is very easy i will show you it is very easy i will show you one one zero one 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 plus one plus one is what is two right since one plus one is two you cannot put that two there because the numbers that you have to put there is what, 0 and 1. 2 is not supposed to be there. So what do you do? You now divide 2 by 2. You now say 2 divided by 2 is what? 0. Remaining what? 1. Rem uh, is 1 rather. Remaining what? 0. 2 into 2 is 1. Now remaining nothing, right? So this remainder is what you put there. 0. You now take the 1 over. Add it here, here becomes 1. 1 plus 1 again is what? Is 2, right? Then 2 divided 2 is 1, remaining 0. You put the 0, you carry the 1 again. 1 plus 1 here is 
two plus this one three. You now see three divided by two is what is one remaining what one. Two into three is one now remaining one. I'll be then this remaining now one. Right, the one now take it over. The add it here becomes two. Two into two is one remaining zero. The remaining now you put it there. Then that one you take it over. Since there's no way to put it, you add it here. So this is the answer. So look at it. One one zero one plus one 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 is equals to one zero one zero zero. Let's prove that we are very correct. Let's this is this our answer. Let's take away this from this if we get this. So let's say we add the number two now subtraction one zero one zero zero minus one one one. We must have one one zero one. If we don't have one one zero one, it means that what we did is not correct. So let's go very easy. Now look at it. One zero one zero zero one one one. Right? Good. Minus. Let's go. Zero minus one cannot. So we we'll borrow. Remember it is in base two. Base two. Base two. Base what? Two. So one away from zero cannot. So what do you do? You borrow. You cannot borrow for your baby because there's nothing here. You now borrow from here. What you are borrowing is two. Because it is in base two. So two that you are borrowing, you add it a year becomes two. You borrow from your add it a year becomes two. Yes, it's left with one. See it. You could not borrow from here. You now borrowed from here. You could not borrow from here because here is zero. You now borrowed from here. So here will not be left to zero. You add it a year becomes two. You now borrow from here, add it here. Yes, now left with one. Yes, now two. One away from two is one. Yes, left with one. One minus one is what? Zero. Yes, left it was zero because this was where we borrowed from a B. Good. Let's not borrow from here. We can't. It is zero. We will not borrow from here. We cannot borrow from here because here is zero. We will not borrow from here. So since we are borrowing from here now, add it here. Here becomes what? Two. Borrow from here, add it. And here is left to zero. Borrow, add it here. Here becomes what? Two. Yes, left it one. One away from two is one. Yes, left it one just now. One. So therefore, we have one. Yes, zero. So nothing. So we have one, one, zero, one. So you can see that we took away uh, uh, one, one, one from one, zero, one, zero, zero. We now got this. Look at it. One, one, zero, one. So therefore, one, zero, one, zero, zero minus one, one, one is equal to one, one, zero, one. Do you understand? Just the same way we are having therefore one, one, zero, one plus one, one, one is equal to what? One, zero, one, zero, zero. Base two must put it there. Base two very important. So these are our answers. Now we will not end there. We have a uh, 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 other business as well. Let's also do addition and subtraction of other business so you understand it uh, very well. Even multiplication, division, they are they are all there. So what you should know is that when you are working on a particular base, the number that should be allowed should be less than that base. Do you understand? As simple as that. Alright, so, uh, let's say for instance, let's say for instance, we are having a, a what's it called now? We are having a 213 base 5 plus 222 base what? 5. What do we do? We have 213. 2, 2, 2, all in base 5. All in what? Base 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. You cannot put 5 there because it is in base 5. Numbers that are allowed are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So since 2 plus 3 is 5, you have to 5 divided by 5. That will give you what? 1 remaining what? 0. The remainder is what you put there. 0. You carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus that one 4. 4 is allowed. It's in base 5. 2 plus 2 is what? 4. So this is 4, 4, 0 base what? 5. Now let's take away uh, this uh, 4, 4, 0 base 5 minus 2, 2, 0 base 5. We will get 1, 3. Just watch. So this is 4, 4, 0 minus what? 2, 2. 2, 2, 2, right? 2, 2, 2. 2, 2, 2. Look at it. 2, 2, 2. Minus. Look at it. Two away from zero cannot. So you borrow from me. What you are borrowing is what is five. Let me 
quickly show you something. Let me show you something. You know that our normal mathematics is in this thing. So if it is normal addition and subtraction, you will not say two minus zero cannot. You will not borrow from here. You will not say add one here. Here will not be ten. Two away from ten is eight. You are not adding the one here. It is because it is in this thing. Normal mathematics. So what you are borrowing is ten. You will not say the thing is that ten plus zero is what will give you what ten. It's not that you are adding one here. So since what we are doing is in this five, you will not borrow five. Five plus zero is five. Two away from five is what three. Yes, left it was three. Two away from three is what one. Two away from four is what two. So two one three is what this five. And that's the question. Look at the two one three this five plus this. We took away this from this and we got this back. So it is very what it is very easy. So if we've been able to do this. Okay, let's just take one multiplication. Let's just take one, multi one multiplication. Remember to like this video if you enjoy it, rate it high, rate it high, and you know, ask your questions. I will be glad to answer. Put it on the comments box below. I will view it and answer it in the next video. All right. So let's say we are having, let's say we are having, uh, uh, one zero one one times one one one. You'll be surprised why may I always starting with this two. It is because this two is very common. This is what you see in your exams most times. So normal multiplication one zero, you arrange it in that format one one one. So let's go. This first part is more hard because everything you have here will still be less than two zero and one. One times one is one one zero one. Normal now one one zero one 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 zero one. So this is where the issue is now. This where the issue is. This this normal times one times everything here give us everything there. One times everything here give us everything here. One times everything here give us everything here. Do you understand? So it's normal times. But this where the issue is now. One plus nothing is one is allowed because this is this two, this two, this two is allowed. One plus one is not two. It's two allowed. Then no. So you must say two divided by two is one remaining one zero. This remainder is what you put there. No. One plus one is two, right? Can you put the two plus this one? Three? Can you put the three there? No, you must say three divided by two is one remaining one. Abi, you must put the remainder there. Carry the one. One plus one again is two plus that one three. Three into two into three is one remaining one. You must put the remainder there. One plus zero is what? Z uh, one plus that one is two. Two into two is one remaining zero. You put the zero there and carry one. So one plus one is two. 2 divided by 2 is 1 remaining what 0, put the remainder there. So this, this is our answer. So therefore, you can say 1, therefore, 1, 0, 1, 1, times 1, 1, 1, right? All in this 2 is equals to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, in this 2. This is our answer. So these questions are very common in your exam. That is why I just treated it. This topic normal base. In our in our uh, subsequent videos, we will be looking at uh, uh, other interesting topic in mathematics that you always see questions from. But if you have questions in this particular area of thought now, feel free, free to comment. Ask your questions on the comment box below. Rate the video, like it, and share it. God bless you. Until we meet again next time.